Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my lectures in song. I believe that since my life began, the most I've had is just a talent to amuse. That's me playing, talking, and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, Noel Coward. Crisp, brilliant, outrageous, boundlessly entertaining, Noel Coward was the reigning monarch of international cafe society from the moment he burst onto the theatrical scene in the mid-1920s as London's own enfant terrible, Destiny's Tot. Through the next four decades, few denizens of the theater could boast his extraordinary resume. Playwright, composer, lyricist, director, actor, producer, completely self-created personality, star of stars. The underlying depth and substance of Coward's work have often been misunderstood and underestimated. He wrote often of superficiality and human folly, but never superficially or frivolously. Through his plays, he described recognizable humanity with both great humor and deep pathos. Among the plays still successfully revived, Private Lives, Designed for Living, Hay Fever, Present Laughter. In later life, when neither film nor stage work was plentiful, Coward moved effortlessly into the first rank of international cabaret supper club stars, handily drawing upon his always growing repertoire of matchless song standards. Someday I'll find you, if love were all, I'll follow my secret heart, mad about the boy, mad dogs and Englishmen, a room with a view, London pride, Uncle Harry, a bar on the Piccolo Marina, I went to a marvelous party, sail away. An hour devoted to the singular personality and achievements of Noel Coward is a guarantee of pure delight, the logical consequence of a man who, with no modesty intended, described his own bountiful gifts as a talent to amuse. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmillermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and song. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.